This is a way we can integrate the iPad into a tactile experience. A child who's um, somewhat tactilely defensive. So stick your hands in and make the dolphin swim. He likes dolphins. I have a dolphin video back there. You think there. dolphins use just their pointer fingers? Okay, dolphins don't have pointer fingers, so I know that, right? Oh. I was trying to get him to isolate his, his index and, and um, actually trying to get him to get his full hand in. So I asked him, what does he like? What is he interested in? I want his hands in the mess, but he likes dolphins. So I put the dolphin video on, and he's all of a sudden, he's interested. Is he paying attention to the dolphin video? No, dolphins really. are big. I up. think they take the whole hand. Try your whole hand. He looks up, and he's looking at the video every once in a while and commenting on it, but his hands are in there. And he's more willing to explore. Now watch this. This is, this is a few minutes later. That's still cut oatmeal that I didn't want to throw away. Yeah. Or sand. Magic pencil. He's working on creating the number five. He's having reversals. He's a lot of motor planning issues. It's not just reversals. So is it correct? And he's then self he's self correcting and whatnot. But I'm I'm doing I'm tracing it on his hand, so he's getting that tactile feedback on his hand. And then he's trying to practice it on the board. And it, now his hands are really engaged in the tactile. So again, that's about how are we going to integrate it? So because there are no tactile apps. So the kids on the spectrum and teaching them fine motor skills. Sometimes it's just too much. Well, anywhere from $135. Actually, I, I turned down the volume. You might hear a little bit now, but I have, where there's no volume, I, I worked with this child for years on buttoning. He, this is a very, um, a child who is, this is me buttoning. I've created, I created this little video literally five minutes before the treatment session. And then I presented the video in a corner kind of in a blocked off area and just put the video there with no sound and I just sat behind him and gave him tactile cues, maybe a couple of auditory cues but mostly tactile cues and lo and behold, and I've been working years on buttoning, he started buttoning. Was he perfect at it on one try? No, but I'll tell you on that one try there was three buttons, one out of three buttons was done by himself. Okay, because we're getting the focused attention. It's not too much. I don't have all of this other stuff going on of me, 3D me, get telling him or whatever or showing him and now you do it. I just put the vest there and I put the video up there. So very, very powerful tool. It took me uh, literally a couple of minutes right before the treatment session. <laughs>